So we had some really cool stuff going on in this episode. Remember, we're in the Labo phase, split into a few different groups that are all under attack by the Seraphim. The Vegapunk satellites can't stop the attack, and the only reason for that could be that one of them is a traitor and has orchestrated the attack. I stand by my prediction that York is that very traitor because, yes, she was petrified by S-Snake, but this would be the perfect strategy to remove her from the events taking place while also not putting her in physical danger. After the Seraphim have wiped everyone out, York can simply be unpetrified. Now let's move on to Luffy, Zoro, Shaka, and CP0. They face off against S-Hawk and S-Bear. S-Hawk, being a clone of Dracul Mihawk, is already powerful enough as is, but he also has the powers of the Supa Supa no Mi, meaning he can turn any part of his body into a blade. Maybe you recall Zoro's battle with Daz Bones. Luffy and Zoro, they can't fight to their fullest if they're constantly worrying about Luchi and Kaku, who are still handcuffed. So Luffy has to decide if he'll trust CP0 to help in this fight. Luffy just wants Luchi's word that he won't attack the crew. Luchi says he will, but only after he defeats Luffy. This answer satisfies Luffy because he knows that Luchi can't defeat him, therefore he won't attack the crew. This leads us into some really cool action that I never thought I'd see actually. Luffy in Gear 4 pairs up with Luchi to overpower S-Bear, while Zoro and Kaku take the fight hard to S-Hawk. Both of these pairs seem like they've got way more than enough power to fight against the enemy, and even come out on top. Let's move on into the second half of the episode where we join Shanks on Elbaf Island. He reconnects with old friends Dory and Brogi. Shanks plans to set sail, but who is standing in his way? None other than Eustace, Kid. Shanks gives Kid an ultimatum to leave the road poneglyphs and go, or stay and fight. Eustace isn't going to back down though because of his history with Shanks' crew. If you're not familiar with this, during the two year time skip, the Kid pirates fought and were defeated by the Red Hair pirates. That's when Ben Beckman took Eustace's arm. So I don't see any chance that this doesn't erupt into a battle on the high seas. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, sub. See you next time.